All right, everybody. I know a lot of people know that when I was in Cartagena, I had something really unfortunate happen. I was on a boating trip and I fell in the ocean and two of my cameras became drenched with salt water. My Removu K1 and my Panasonic ZS200, neither of them survived. And so I've been kind of scrambling to find a solution so I can continue to make my videos. And while I was in Cartagena, I went looking for a replacement camera and I found a GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's a really nice camera and it was a camera I was planning on buying when I got to the United States anyway, so I just bought it now. Um, unfortunately, there are no mounts available. Um, there's no selfie sticks, there's no mounts, there's no microphone adapter, and you know, it just comes with you know how it is in the box and that's all I have and uh, I've got a couple of problems now one there's three microphones on this camera and so when I'm holding it and I change the position of my hand you know to go from selfie this way whatever it is um, you can hear you can hear the sound of my hand in the microphones and the other thing is it's just really hard for me to hold the camera up high enough um, for any length of time it's just it's just kind of hard and so I'm I'm kind of looking through my bags to see if there's any solution to this and I think I found something come on Myrtle let's go so what I have is um, with me is I have a monopod and this is the feet for the monopod. It's made by DJI. And then on top I have um, a cell phone mount. So I put them together and I'm going to try putting the GoPro Hero Black in the cell phone mount and just see how it goes. All right, let's try it. Here it is. It's actually a really good fit. It feels very, very secure. And let me turn it around and there's a little bit of glare out here so I don't know if you can see it but I can't see the mount in the shot um, yeah so it's pretty good so now what I want to do is just kind of walk around town and try it out and see if I've eliminated the noise. Maybe there's other problems that are gonna creep up with this setup. Um, so yeah, so let's walk around Santa Cruz de Montpox and um, see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just walking along around the streets of Santa Cruz de Montpox. I actually ended up getting transport out of Cartagena here because the road was under construction and the shoulders were being redone and it just was unsafe to be riding a tricycle on such narrow roads. I'm probably about maybe 200 miles from Cartagena. I've been here for a number of days. It's a lovely colonial town one of the oldest Spanish colonial towns in Colombia. I think it dates back to about 1500s. It's on the Rio Magdalena. Yeah, so how's, how's everything looking so far? You know, I'm really pleased with this purchase the GoPro Hero 7. I'm very impressed with the image stabilization and it's such a wide um, point of view that you just don't have to worry about being in the shot. You know, like with my Removu K1, I had a little screen and I could always see if I was in the shot or what was in the shot. Um, my gosh, this, this screen is, you know, this um, lens is so wide and the other thing that i'm really enjoying is the voice commands so as i'm using the camera i can ask it to start i can ask it to stop change the photo and i don't have to touch any of the controls and it and it works really well and it works really fast uh, so it's just so nice so here a little bit further and i've I've got um, 
a wrist strap rigged up to this just in case this mount for some weird reason gives out on me. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good test. You know what, I think this has been just a really interesting experiment in, you know, what to do when things go wrong and you're traveling. You know, losing two cameras, um, of course I was devastated, and it could have been devastating for my whole trip. I mean, I really want to continue to make videos and document my travels. Felt really fortunate to find a GoPro Hero 7 Black, but I was just having so much trouble holding it, and then every time I moved, it would pick up, um, you know, the sound of my hand on the microphone. And so, um, you know, being able to use this DJI uh, monopod mount with a cell phone mount, um, it's just making all the difference in the world. And I'd love to know what you guys think of it. And of course, I'm actually using this mount right now um, to record this on my cell phone. So, you know, it has more than one use. And with more than one use, um, I'm more than likely to use it. But what's really great is I don't have to hold either camera as high. Um, it's just so hard for me. It, my Gosh, my arm just gets so tired. Of course, it makes it so I don't talk as much either. But tomorrow's going to be the big day. Tomorrow, I'm going to find out um, how easy it is to use while I'm on the trike. You know, is the image stabilization just as good uh, when I'm moving? You know, how's the sound quality going to be? Like right now, I'm using my um, dead cat, the external mic, on my cell phone. And I can do that um, using my GoPro Hero 7 Black. It just means I'll have to uh, mess with an extra file. You know, I'll bring the GoPro Hero Black file into my editing software and the voice recorded file. And I'll have to remove the sound from the GoPro Hero Black and then add the voice file. I'll have to, you know, match them up. Um, you know, none of it's hard. It just takes extra time. And tomorrow I'll find out if it's even necessary. Maybe the sound from the GoPro will be um, acceptable. And then I'll find out if I have the patience for all of it. You know, as always, everybody, I'd love to hear what you think of this solution and um, what you think of the image quality, the sound. And um, as always, thanks for following me along and thanks for watching.